Hello and welcome to another Brick in the Mall. This is a game that caught my eye here on YouTube. I was looking at uh, actually a Conflict Nerd channel because I watch him on a few things. The City Skylines and also his other indie games that he covers. I think he does a pretty good job. And this one looked interesting. Also the, uh, the airport simulation one looks interesting as well. So... Uh, I went ahead and picked them up just because I think I would enjoy playing them. And so here we are. We're going to go ahead and start a new game just because uh, that's what you do when you start a new series on a YouTube channel. Um, we are starting without the tutorial. We're starting with $200,000. We're going to have a normal research rate because I think that imposes a little bit of a challenge. However, fast builders are on just to make the series uh, progress quickly enough. If I was playing this on my own, I think I'll probably keep it on normal. And, uh, sure, we'll have rats. Why not? That's a challenge. Alright, so when you first pop into another brick in the mall, you'll see that we have been given quite the large land development area. And you can basically build here as you see fit. It is very similar to, say, something like a prison architect in terms of the art style and what you may expect to do. Except for you're not dealing with prisoners, you are dealing with food, produce, and uh, an assortment of supplies that you are trying to sell for profit. Now, there are, uh, well, research trees in this game. Um, you can research in an, an assortment of items from uh, the research basics, which actually unlocks the other base research items, such as restaurants, uh, you know, road networks, uh, you get uh, electronic suppliers, things like this. And then some of them do have tiers, like uh, you go up to Road Network 3, and that will actually open up these additional entry points into the map. So that's possibly you've expanded this way, but uh, the, the time it takes for people to drive down there, you know, they might not make it to the store in time. So having more than one entry point is going to help us out a whole lot. Zooming down, you can see we have our little builder, Jennifer McGee, and she is on her phone because she doesn't have anything to do. So why don't we go ahead and just give her a task? The UI is very simple and relatively kind of, uh, well, straightforward, you could say. If we go into the uh, build mode here, we're going to go to remove road work, and I'm actually going to pop off those parking spots there. Um, I've already gone through the tutorial myself, so I'm not going to go through that with you guys. I am, however, going to pause the game as soon as I do that, because what's going to happen is we're going to be missing some sales opportunities, but it's not like we have a store right now, you know? We're going to spend the first day kind of building up and designing kind of the layout that we're going to follow for uh, the next little while. Now, what I want is to extend the road down here by selecting road and you can just drag this out. I'm going to extend it about $5,100 and this is going to be our initial drag and at this point I wouldn't mind adding a little bit of a roundabout because I like roundabouts. They look pretty cool to me so we'll just go ahead and do a little bit of square. Uh, this initial kind of section, what I want to end up doing is making some sort of, well, it's almost like a strip mall. If you guys, you know, ever been to an outside mall where uh, you walk outside rather than a covered area, that's kind of what I'm going for. Maybe an outlet mall kind of situation to start, you know, separate buildings that you might have to walk across the street for. And then as we progress and expand, we might make a proper mall and, you know, something all interior and uh, something like that. But uh, for now, I think this will be a good little test. Uh, from here, we're going to need some customer parking. Now, this road's not built yet, so it's not even going to let us kind of place that out there. So we're going to speed up time, let our awesome builder do their work as they go out now if we didn't increase the build speed this would be taking quite a long time um we have a couple builders they are on a shift schedule right now we'll get into that as we get into our first building but what i want to do is just go ahead and wait for this road network to get established and then we'll start off with some parking all right so while that's being laid out i want to leave a space because that way we will actually keep the greenery. And we're gonna have our first two stores just down here. 
and they're gonna have their own little parking lots no worry and they can kind of share and go back and forth in between um and and, and uh you know if one's a little slower they another person can possibly park uh in their own spot there in fact we're gonna make this just one more long Another thing to consider, there's loading zones, there's staff-only parking if you want to try and keep the uh, staff separate from the normal people so you don't take up their parking spots and things. Uh, we're also going to end up having to move the uh, maintenance bay here in a little bit. I want to try and get uh, money flowing in just to offset some of these costs of construction first. So, I'm just kind of waiting for... Uh, this to get built let's just speed up time a little bit more again boy the sound is uh, pretty intense getting repeated along here now kind of a shame it is a little bit of a simple art style so you know the uh, simplicity of the roundabout is going to show through this and there we go so let's go ahead and build uh, drop down to foundations and foundations is how you go ahead and lay out your first structure so we're going to go, I think something like this. We're going to do a 9 by 24 kind of strip here. Maybe 10 by 24. 10 by 24 sounds good. So this is kind of our first building. And what I'm going to end up doing is actually, let me remove this because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this a little bit. Right click to cancel orders, there we go. So let's go back to foundations and do something like this. So we're gonna do a 10 by 10, and then another 10 by 10, and then it's going to have a uh, connecting kind of storage room in between the two stores that they will sh not necessarily share, but um, hopefully utilize in some way we can also include some parking back here if you guys you know have seen me play a planet coaster it's kind of if if you think about it there's going to be a storefront and then kind of a utility access point along the back side and then this will kind of continue around there'll be a little access road and things of that nature so that is placed we will then go ahead and build a wall just so they each can get we're going to split them in half and then we're going to give each of them a storage area about about yay so a five by seven storage area here all right and then we are going to go into the objects tab and find a door first off staff doors for the storage areas themselves let's first speed up time so we can actually place objects into the walls now we'll probably go with double doors makes the most sense so something let's go to walls and uh, remove this wall real quick Just so they, I don't know how that wall got there. I think I accidentally just clicked it by mistake. We will then go back to objects. We need a staff door. Well, you know, strip malls that I go to, some of them do allow for these back entryways. So, you know, let's just, let's just keep it with double doors. Some people might want to come out in the backside. Remove that and boom, just like so. However, the storage room should remain a staff door only. And we will do that. And let's see, at this point, the, hmm, we have to decide on what kind of stores we want this thing to be. As you can see, we are just researching basics, which is going to unlock uh, some some basic research for us. Um, but there's, there's interesting things you can go down to between clothing stores, electronics stores, media appliance stores, tools, luxury. Uh, you know, we're gonna have to unlock restrooms at some point. Uh, restaurants, bowling, alleys, cinema. You know, gotta make your pretty cool uh, movie theater that goes inside your mall. 
and uh, bus transport for later if you don't want people to drive in on their own. So let's think about, well, let's go ahead and drag out a store here. So this is store number one, store number two with their own storage here. Okay, now you can name these, you can manage them, and things like that, and we will be getting there as soon as we can. So, let's go to build again. Now, these are going to be initially probably just some food or some base needs stores. So, think CVS, think maybe your, not Walmart, I mean, this is way too small to be Walmart. Um, but you could technically build one, eventually. So, what I want, I want one to be food the other one to be more utility so think like uh, cosmetic soaps detergents and things maybe household goods and food so let's do that let's first decide where we want our checkout counters to be you can rotate by pressing q and rotate this around the uh, it took me a little while to figure this out but there is a blue line here and you can see the max Q size getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that is something to consider when you are laying out these things. So how long do you want the Q maximum to be? Um, I think each store will probably do best having, let's see, now let's, let's do this here because the door is kind of a dead spot. And so if we equip and kind of put the line going towards the door, I think that would be a good use of our space. Let's grab some food shelves. All right. And start laying this out. So I think doing something like this makes some sense here. This is this is going to be a very much like a a basic and kind of lame um, 7-Eleven, you could say. So we got that, we got uh, some shells, which can have some toys and things. So that'll be on this side, which we can do there. And this one will have some fridge space as well. And you know what, these guys might sell some drinks. Or something because eventually you can unlock some different types of kind of nice frozen goods um, we will also did, did I get rid of the storage space let's see manage nope nope it's still there it's just I was selecting a different thing so if I go to store one and assign the storage space of storage four and storage three goes to store number two and uh, now they know kind of where their goods are going to be dropped off we're also going to be building a quick road network out the back side here all right and this is that utility kind of access point that i was talking about earlier So we'll speed up time. Now, the maintenance bay is so far away that it's going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna have to turn down my in-game sound. Hearing them do that road work just reminds me of waking up in the morning sometimes. All right, so that road is connected. And we can do a road here. And let's go ahead and do a garbage pickup there in just a moment and then shipping shipping uh, staff parking probably would be best so garbage is going there loading zone loading zone staff only staff only Okay, this this is slowly starting to look pretty cool. Bus stop uh, later. 
later. Don't have to worry about that right now. All right, so we got those uh, one sailing kind of good. So let's first manage, take a look at this shelf. You can see, if you right click on the shelves, how we're going to assign these. So health and beauty. Uh, we're going to need probably some diapers, toilet paper, uh, pads, tampons, you know, the, the essentials. Maybe uh, some light bulb, electronics, uh, things like that. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to need nine total shells here. We have three, so we'll just rotate this over. Four, five, six. Um, you know, we might not be able to cover all of our bases, but we should do pretty good there. Now, for our food, let's see what we get here. There's plenty of beverages and food choices to choose from here. So, you have to be... Uh, we're going to have to be a little bit more picky on the food. Alright, so... This one can go here and here. And... Are these different sizes? Yes, we didn't get the... <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't split the building down the middle, so the food store actually has some extra shelving space than, uh, than the other side. But that's good. There's more food options than uh, the other, so that might work out for our favor. In fact, we can uh, put some down here, and let's go ahead and remove... this door real quick because I wouldn't mind switching that uh, to just a single door off you go maintenance guy our new guy is coming over we're gonna have to build like a little maintenance hut I think right here all right so build and walls we'll just seal that back off and objects a uh, single door right there that'll work out we will pause again because we're going to see if we can't open the store this time or not. Um, let's first assign all of our essentials. So these three, let's go to manage. We are going to make them foods. I think over here, this will be like the rice, pasta, kind of your seed sauces and seasoning. And also... Also, your uh, canned food area. Over here, we got... Let's do pet food in the back. That's generally where the pet food is kept. And also, you know, let, let's put the candies back there. Just so, you know, you don't want people gaining weight too much. Just hide it back. Back there in the back. Uh, we need some breakfast cereal. We're going to need some sliced bread essentials. Also going to need some coffee and tea for those people. And to finish it all off, some basic snacks up front. Uh, over here we can do soda and juices. So that is our first store. A single counter. We might need two. We'll figure that out as we go. I just, yeah, let's, let's get some staff into store number two real quick. So we're gonna need to hire a cashier. This guy looks pretty good. His speed is great. His patience is good. Uh, cashier ability is 40.47. And so we'll just hire him. Just like that. He is, he's a neat freak. He's a former cashier. So he has bonus cashier experience and his hunger is capped at 50. So that's interesting. Um, we need to hire a stock clerk. Oh, wow, this guy's pretty good here. So we'll just hire him. And he can start uh, a little bit early. We, we want to stock our shelves early, and then at the end of the day, uh, you know, it'll kind of trail off. This is the base scheduling. You can see how many people are working, and then how many people aren't working at the end of the day here. The green area is how long the store is open. You can see... If we shift this around, this is when he's going to start. So we want him to start earlier so that he can stock these shelves, hopefully before people get here. Okay, store number one. We will go ahead and manage you now for the fridge, bottled water, just to cover all of our bases, and 
juices. All right, health and beauty. Let's do some diapers there. We need some uh, toiletries. And then we can do pads. We can do some cookware and then just dishes on the other side. And then here we can do some light bulbs. And that'll cover all of or most of our bases in that area. So let's go ahead and hire a new cashier. We don't have quite as good of a choice on this side, but I think it'll work out for us. So let's hire a stock clerk. There we go. And make the stock clerk show up a little bit early like the other one. Here's our products. So you can set the uh, profit margin. I'm just going to leave these as auto for now uh, until I get my bearings and, and we can see how well we're going to do. So research has been complete for the basic research. You can see it's going to automatically choose what you want to do next. I'm going to switch this because I think I want to go straight into clothing because this is a strip mall. We need variety in here. So we're, we'll, do, we'll do a clothing uh, store across the street. Here come some cars. They are going to pull into the back there. This looks like some staff. Yes, the cashiers have arrived. And also... Um, it looks like our stock is arriving using this cargo bay. You can see they're going to bring in some crates and uh, hopefully service us pretty well. There is our stalker picking up their items. More buses and vans will come in over time. And these things just kind of rotate through as they are being used as well. So we'll just speed up time to double, I think. We have some maintenance coming through. Now, I'm a little interested as to why they're, I guess they're stocking just one store at a time. And then as this gets full, they'll start stocking this store. I'm not quite sure why they are uh, doing it quite like that. But let's see, store two, assigned storage, storage three. There we go. Uh, maybe I didn't assign the storage on the first store. So that was probably a problem on my end also if we go back to store two go to staff cashier he is not coming in today so this store is essentially closed and we'll proceed to just lose money as uh, people come in and just steal stuff that was rude yeah so this cashier's he's not gonna come in today so in this store uh can i close it so people just don't steal my stuff no you guys you guys are just gonna waltz in and buy 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 all my hard-earned money just like that but hey the other side's at least at least doing well they are rotating through the the queue rather nicely it'll work out for us and there goes the first day. We lost $370, mainly due to thievery and uh, incompetence on my end. So, there we go. A stock clerk is staying relatively late, if you look at that. So, a stock clerk here. What are you... Why are you still here? Go home. Maybe he had to work his full eight hours before he left. So he got there a little later, I think, than the first store. So we're going into day number three now. And this is actually kind of the first test of everything running at once. We're going to storage three. We will storage load 75. 75 there. Just, just make sure there's three on each side. Um, you know, you don't necessarily need a huge amount of storage per thing because it kind of gets shuffled around relatively quickly we are losing money today already that's just our maintenance costs of our people over there so in fact let's go ahead and build that new foundation for our maintenance people cool and we will do object staff door
backside and at top just so they have some access points. We will assign this as a maintenance center. All right. Let's see here. Cancel. Hold on. Okay. Proceed. Manage, and I think if I go to this new maintenance center, you can see we don't have any builders anymore. So we are going to have to buy some at this point. If we take a look, builder is pretty good. I think we'll have maybe three builders. Don't need, really need one at all hours. I'm not really expanding quick enough, I don't think. This guy is pretty good, but I think I'd rather have the speed and then we will hire another builder and uh looks like this jennifer mcgee again man i just fired you and welcome back to the workforce all right so starting is uh, one in the morning for you something like that that's going to give us a good spread so you can see at noon they kind of take a lunch break essentially and then they come back so we'll always have one in the area our store has opened yet again. Staff is working. Q is going through. And hopefully we can uh, make some money today. Now, if people are taking too long to go through the queue, they do become unhappy. And that's something to watch out for as we keep going onward throughout the series. You can see uh, missed sales opportunities. We are missing a lot just due to parking limitations. So we might need to introduce some more parking here. All right, and where is road work? Sorry, the UI is still a little new to me. Let's do some customer parking. I think just back here because I kind of want to keep this uniform pattern going through and you know for me it's easier to kind of maintain the looks of it early on okay those builders are loud people are going through the queue is getting a little little uh little long um hopefully having the parking a little farther away will buy us time by the so people aren't just all in the store at once. And we are still losing about $200 a day. It's not that much of a loss. And in fact, this is going to allow us to keep going forward. Because I just want a slow progression here. Bunch of new objectives. Open a business. 10000 Turn a daily profit over. Make 100 total sales. 20 Different types of production, have 100 customers on site, and missed sales opportunities. Oh, uh, yep, they're leaving because the checkout queues are full. So that's something I'm going to have to eventually address as well. And then we just missed some as well without buying anything. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get better at it. You can see our cash flow is flattening out, which is kind of what I want to see in the long term salaries we're just basically covering salaries so we're just losing money in the maintenance right now so hopefully if we open up another store across the street that might be better so let's do that let's let's do some foundations this is going to be like a nice kind of long first look video all right 24 by eight and then nine by seven nine by seven have another u-shaped building here this one's a little bit bigger than our other one and that might give us some more options this one might be a little bit more of a catch-all store these are more like mom and pops across the street they're gonna have to compete with walmart now and walmart might dry them out let that get built up our other maintenance crew should be swapping over here in the next eight hours or so so that'll be pretty nice 
Now, at least the AI is smart enough to leave a gap on the outside so they can leave a structure and get out so they don't just block themselves in. Let's remove this whole building. I, I don't want it there anymore. I want to... I want a nice centralized location for everything. We have our nice maintenance building down here. This this one will probably maintenance this whole area. And then we might have another one going a little bit more northerly uh, to the rest of the layout. And this store. How's our research coming? Because I wouldn't mind making this a clothing store. So we might just leave it blank for now. So essentially put a, hey, we need... We need the, uh, let's see, Q full and everything like that. We'll tell you what. We're going to go through one more day. We're going to see if any of the performance is a little bit better. And if not, we'll just end this episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far the first look of another brick in the mall. Here we go. We got the stock people coming in, stocking up the shells before the first customers arrive. Shipments coming in as well. Cashiers are in place. All right, maintenance is swapping out. First people arriving. Now, I'm assuming breakfast stuff will probably do better in the mornings. And then as the lunch stuff kind of picks up, that'll do a little bit better. And then as evening, kind of off-duty stuff, you know, when people are heading home, they're going to come home, uh, pick up some dishware possibly, pick up some utilities they might need for the evening, and maybe dinner. And hopefully, if all goes to plan, you won't lose too much money. I hope these guys get better. In fact, do they get better? I don't know. Manage. Let's see. Do you get better over time? This... I hope you do. I'm going to need to get some restrooms eventually. Your profitability is 335%. That is crazy, guy. So you, you have a good turnover rate. Let's look at number one here. 317. So, you know, they are doing pretty good for themselves. And you can see the sales in roughly what hours of the day they are taking place. Definitely more in the morning at the food side and then definitely at the evening during the uh, more homeware side. So that's interesting. Anyways, that's it for another brick in the mall. If you guys are enjoying this, feel free to leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness such as this. I will keep researching so that we can get clothing and everything for the next episode. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.